Hey there everyone, this is Danielle with some first thoughts on Drawn to Life Two Realms. Uh, this is the third game in the Drawn to Life series. Uh, it's kind of surprising that they come out with a third game now, this has been released very recently, uh, because the first two Drawn to Life games were released for the Nintendo DS. So you get an idea of like how long ago that was. Um, uh, basically they were games like, basically they're, they're fairly straightforward platformers where you get to design your character and various objects in the game world literally by drawing them on the DS touchscreen. Uh, hence the name. I'm not quite sure how they'll make that work on the Switch. Um, there is a touchscreen but you can't really use it while using the TV, so... Uh, we'll see how that works out. Um, you may recognise the art style, that's because this team of developers later went on to do the Scribblenauts games. They made a whole bunch of those, and that I guess was easier to port from the DS to other platforms. Which is why they did more Scribblenauts than they did Drawn to Life, but yeah, apparently they made a third one of these. And it has two in the title, which is kind of confusing. <laughs> Let's check it out, let's see if it's good. Uh, I remember thinking they were kind of mediocre as platformers, but the, like, drawing the characters and stuff gimmick was interesting enough to keep it working. Hopefully this one they'll mix up the actual gameplay a bit more, as well as the, um, drawing aspects of everything. 505 Games. Digital Continue. Black Screen. <laughs> Drawn to life, two realms. Oh, this looks adorable. Uh, so the previous two games, they had like an overworld sort of area that looks a bit like this. I think it wasn't isometric though, I think it was like more of a three-quarter top-down perspective, like a Zelda game. So this is an interesting change. Let's look at the settings first. Uh, yep, that's fine. Interestingly, you can't use the D-pad on this screen. I'm trying to use it now. You can use it in the settings though, but out here you have to use the left stick, which is kind of strange. Uh, let's dive in and see if it's good. Hey, creator. I never wanted to be mayor. My dad was the best there ever was, and I knew I couldn't live up. Aww. But the darkness came. I cried out to you for help, and you gave us a hero. The darkness stole my dad, but our village stood strong. So, um, spoilers for the first two games, I guess. <laughs> But then the colour faded, and we fled, travelling the world, restoring each island. This time the darkness claimed noble intentions, and prepared for the end of our world. The, in the end I thought was coming, ended up as a new beginning. I know what I need to do, but I fear it's too late. For Mike, and our world. It's still a bit of a recap of the plots in the first two games there. <laughs> I found what you were looking for. Do you think we still have time? It's hard to know. The human realm is different. Night is day, day is night. They have small ears as well. How do you know? Raposa can't go there. This font is a little questionable. I would, have, I would have thought that said Roposo, but I know that they're called Roposa because of the previous games. Well... Ah, I understand. 
I guess I'll go see the creator. Forgetting something? The Book of Imagination. It allows you to enter the mind of another. Extract what's wrong and overcome the challenge. I just hope this hero is up to the challenge. They will be. I know it. This is some really nice pixel art, I gotta say. It's very pretty. Hey, sorry about venting earlier. I should have come here sooner. We need a hero. I can't help him, at least not from here. Oh. Okay, um I guess we have a drawing tool. Uh, what have we got to work with here? Advanced. Oh wow, this looks elaborate. Uh... Okay, we've got some templates to work with, which is helpful because drawing with this is not very easy. Uh... It can be a cat robot. <laughs> or you can be a pirate barrel thing. It can be flowy. Oh, I see. They're separate pieces. Not a lot of selection, I gotta say. Hmm. I mean, I know you're supposed to custom design things anyway, so in theory you shouldn't need a lot of selection, but... Ninja Kitty. <laughs> uh, stickers? Oh, I see. Uh, so I can, like, stick something on my head? Okay. Oh, I see. And I'll unlock those as I play? Yeah. Okay. I'd like to move that up a bit. Maybe rotate it a bit. These controls are a little fiddly, I've got to say. Um, there we go. Doesn't look right. Um, it's because it's not as pixely as everything else, so it doesn't quite fit. Uh, I assume outfits lets me save multiple like arrangements of my clothes and stuff. Okay, let's 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 start with this and maybe tweak it a little bit and see what we get, huh? Uh, let me see. Oops, is there an undo button? Click the wrong spot. That's undo, but there's no button for it, as far as I can tell. Can I zoom in? Um, this isn't a well-designed tool by the looks of things. Uh, zooming would be very helpful, but I don't have that at my disposal. Doesn't look quite right. Um, no, no, it needs to be maybe like that. Hmm. Let's just leave it at that. I might come back and mess with this later, but I want to see more of the game, so... Um... Hmm... 
Yeah, this would probably be better to do on a touch screen. So if, if you've got like a stylus or something you can use with your Switch, that would be a really good way of doing it. Uh, chances are that belt looks wrong because of the way I've done the colours. Um, like it should be shades of the same colour instead of completely different colours. That's why it looks so weird. Mm. Like that. Yeah, that looks nice. Now what looks like this light blue? Maybe a bit too light? Let's try the next one. Yeah, you can see the controls here are not super convenient to work with. Okay, and then we need the darker blue for the shadows. Yeah, I would really like to zoom in as well, but that doesn't seem to be an option, which is really weird. Like, a drawing tool that doesn't let you zoom in on a console game is just, it's, it's very strange. That's not dark enough. Oh, well, maybe. Well, let's give it a try, see how it looks. Mm. Let's just leave it like that for now. Uh, you can come back and edit these things. Uh, share with virtual keyboard, I guess. Danny. There we go. <laughs> Danny, you're back! Thanks, creator! I'm sure this will work. Uh, it looks a bit strange. Nothing like a human. Humans are all a bit weird. Got it. Uh, that was the creator talking. The creator is technically me, like the player, so I guess I need to use my voice to say, <laughs> read those lines. So I guess they'll say the hero is one of them. Danny, this book will allow you to travel between both realms. It also lets you enter the mind of anyone you meet. You'll be able to use your imagination to make sense of what's going on. Bring order to the chaos. Problems with the mind aren't always what you would expect. Don't let this book fall into the wrong hands. It can be a dangerous weapon. I know you'll protect it and use it responsibly. I'm curious what it feels like. Let's try it out. Mari's Mind Dojo. Practice your new powers on Mari? Hope she knows what she's doing. Okay, so we're gonna go into Mari's Mind now. Stage 1 of 3. Traverse the stage and reach the exit. The basics. You've entered into Mari's imagina imagination. Work your way through stages to help her. Reach the open gate to progress to the next level. Use left stick to control your character and A to jump. When you're ready to start, press Y. Oh, I have a time limit. Okay. Can I jump on enemies? I can! Uh, you can't use the D-pad, by the way. You have to use the left stick. Which is very weird, because this game is clearly using, like, digital input. I don't know why we needed a time limit. Defeat all the toys and reach the exit. To open the next gate, you'll need to eliminate all the toys on the stage. Jump on top of toys to stun them for a few seconds. Then jump on stun toys to eliminate them. Okay. I wonder if this game is a level editor. I'm getting the impression it might, based on the way these levels are designed. The previous Drawn to Life didn't, which was kind of a shame because of the concept of the game. It would have made sense to have customizable levels and stuff. What happens if I get hit? Do I have a health meter somewhere? I can't see one. Oh, 
Oh, right. I forgot about that. Your health meter is your body parts. Like, the drawing goes away as you get hurt. You can see the legs have gone and the arms. Stage three of three. Oh no, it looks like Mario needs some help with imagining where some toys should be placed. Let's place them ourselves. Use buttons L and R to select the toys and X to spawn one. Drag the toy around with left stick and place with A. Use the cursor to select a toy and press and hold A to pick up the toy up to move it. Press A on a selected toy to change the facing direction. So yeah, it's a level building game. Interesting. Yes. You made it. Now let's put those skills to good use. Huh, great job. I wonder what type of challenges you'll face in the mind of a human. Anyway, I won't waste any more of your time. Go find Mike and convince him to visit us here in Rapperville. I have something important to tell him. I don't know what situations you'll face in the human realm. I wish I could go with you. If you ever need any advice, come visit me at the town hall. I'll be waiting. Uh, I didn't press anything, I just automatically went into the book. Yeah, this looks like a human realm, alright. Those are humans. Oh, I see. I'm just really, really tall. I like the look of that scooter you got. Give it here. <gasps> what a naughty person. Hey, what's gotten into you? Hey, shut it and give Tony what he wants. No way! So you brought back up? Back up? What? I... Scooter thieves beware. This kid's gonna take Mike's scooter? Not on your watch. Toss this barky nonsense out of here. Three stages. Need a bit more height, try jumping off a toy. Just hit the jump button when you land on a toy to get an extra high jump. Toy zero four. Okay. Oh, interesting. They have some physics. Can I defeat the gooey guys? Do they count as enemies? They don't seem to take any damage. I guess I was supposed to roll the guy over from the other platform and then get him? Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll just miss some money. 
Okay, and then the third stage, you've got to place some things. I guess that's the pattern we're going with. Uh, uh, let's see. You can go there. Actually, no. Well, maybe. Hmm. You can go here. And you are gonna go over here. Let's see how we go. Hey! Who told you you could come this way? I didn't think this through. Uh, um, hmm. Okay, uh, let's try something different. <laughs> uh, you go down there. You're gonna come over here. I guess I'll put you there. Okay, is that how that works? Well, we made it. From the free free throw line, you shoot nothing but the barky of the net. What does barky mean? I can't remember that word from the previous games. Ow, 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 ow. Did I hurt them? Huh? Why do I feel so weird? What are you waiting for? Grab his scooter! Why would I want Mike's dumb scooter? See you on the court. I won't let you win next time. Let me win? Yeah, okay. Who are you? I haven't seen you around town before. Well, nice to meet you, Danny. <laughs> How did you do that? I'm Mike. Yikes, I was supposed to meet my sister at the general store. See you around, Danny. Welcome to Bellevue. Okay, I can walk around now. What's this? Speed boost. Something sparkly here. What's this? Uh, I had a money in it. Hello. My employees are so lazy. Wow, I hate you. You're a horrible person, sir. We've got a menu. A uh, sticker book. Settings, creation tool, or quit. Controller layout? Oh, I see. You can just look at the layout. Camera zoom with L and R. I wonder if that works in... in the creation. Creation tool. It doesn't work here. I'm trying it right now. That's a shame. Uh, it seems to be a day and night cycle, which is going very quickly. Hello. I should just lock everyone up. Okay. A cab. Disgusting. Eh, who needs family anyway? Wow, everyone in this game is a horrible person. Quit trampling my grass. No, I'm not, I'm not even on your grass. Okay. There's something shiny back here. What's that? Piece one of three. You found a piece of the star. Collect more shards to form a complete star. Nice. I don't really know what that does, but it's nice. Oh. Uh, okay. I, I kind of assumed it would just happen without a weird cutscene. You found a new sticker. This stick can be equipped in your creation tool. Nice. Oh, 
Hello. I can fix anything that isn't alive. What about like, like a, like a dead person? Can you fix them and make them alive? <laughs> or is that not what you mean? Hello. Always something to fix in this town. What a dump. Everyone hates Bellevue. That's the impression I'm getting here. Why do you live here? Hello. Can't wait for football season to start. If you say so. Oh, hello. You have a quest for me. Sorry I'm late. I got a little held up. You're always late. I can't depend on you for anything. Like that time you didn't even show up for my birthday. W well there. That was two years ago. Yeah, well... It just goes to show how little you care. I had a balloon set up- balloon set up for you and everything. What are you looking at? Looks like Heather's about to blow a gasket. Better give Mike a hand. Sibling revelry. Huh. Okay, so we're going inside of Heather's brain, I guess. Uh, is that gonna shoot at me? Yes, and I can't crouch. Let's go. It's kind of weird that they assume you're going to be building, even though in most stages of the game you don't seem to have that option. Maybe it'll change later, but so far it's usually you just have to press Y and start and there's nothing else you can do. Controls are a bit janky. Oh no! <laughs> I think I'm stuck now. Uh, let's go back to build mode. Let's try this again. <laughs> Do I keep the money I collected? I'm not sure. Because I know I already got some. 103? Let's keep an eye on it and find out. 111? 112? Well, I won that time, so we don't know. We'll see. Does this one want me to place things? Yeah, I'm getting an impression they have a very specific structure as to how this these levels are going to go. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, let's assume that the order they're in is the right order. So we'll put this one first. That'll spring us over to here. Then we can put something here. Oh, right, they can't be. Okay, so here. We go, and then... Um, these controls are pretty weird, by the way. Uh, let's see how we go. Oops. Okay. Okay, they only shoot three at a time for some reason. So I need to do something like that. Okay. 
There we go. Nice, now to make sure Mike doesn't miss any more birthdays. Seems like these generic levels don't really explain how that's helping. Um, it's not like Psychonauts where it's really obvious how what you do inside someone's mind helps them. In this game it's just sort of, you do some platforming and now they're better. It's just a little bit weird. Do... do I know you? This is Danny. I just met them over by the library. Kinda cool that you're using they, them. Um... Thank you. They're new around here. Hi Danny, I'm Heather. I'm definitely not new around here. Sorry for yelling at you. I'm not sure why I was so upset. Seems kind of silly now. Yeah, you seem to lose it for a minute there. Anyway, I brought Uncle Owen's credit card. I think Heather had a perfectly legitimate reason to be angry. I mean... Like, it, it, it doesn't seem like it was that silly to me. It seems like she had a legitimate grievance. <laughs> he just wants the normal groceries. Hey, you, get over here. I'm not letting you get away this time. I know you stole a pack of Excito stickers. You better give it back. Mike, you what? What's wrong with you? I didn't steal anything. I don't even know what Excito stickers are. Watch out, hero. Mr. Oso is trying to stick Mike down over stickers. Three stages. Blaming Bigwig. Okay, so... We need to prove that we didn't shoplift by solving platforming levels. This is a confusing concept. Ground pound. You can slam the ground with extra force. Press B while in air to form a ground pound. You can use this to get extra air off trampolines. Eliminate toys. And even break bricks. Okay, those controls are weird. You jump with the A button and you ground pound with the B button. Uh, which is it's just a strange combination of buttons. Oh, I should have got the money first. Eh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It'll still work. Ow! I wonder if you can get healed in this game. Like, but in the middle of a stage, I mean. Like, the stages are really short, so maybe you don't need to, but... Like in the previous games in the series, you could get hurt and then pick up a health thing and get your health back. Oh, that's what that does. <laughs> cool. Da, 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 da. Okay, and then one where you place, place credit to yourself. That just seems to be the pattern. Uh, let me see here. What have we got to work with? I think I want to put this guy in here. Um, maybe this guy here somewhere? Maybe this guy here? And then the reverse springy guy over here. I reckon. Well, let's see how that goes. Oh. Oh! Oh, I see. You have to put them in the same spot or that doesn't work. Interesting. Okay, um, back to building. Let me see. Um, if I don't put you there, if I take you out and put you on this platform as well, what's gonna happen? Well, I can't get up there, so maybe I don't need to? Ow. Hmm. 
Uh, it's still not far enough. How do you do this? Hmm. We have a bit of a puzzle in our hands here. these guys back over here. Maybe stack them up like this. Oops. Oh, oh, I just realized what I'm supposed to do. Hang on. You get over here and you break these. Then the bird can move further because you've gotten rid of the thingies. Um, I'm not quite sure what to do at that point, but yeah, you meant to break the, the bricks so that the bird can fly over and provide a bridge. Okay, uh, let's bring these back over to the other side. And yeah, I'm keeping the money I'm collecting as I do this, which is interesting. Um, yeah, let's put you on here, and you uh, about there, and then I can jump over, break the bricks, and then go back. Uh, I can't reach the coin over there, but I'm not going to worry about it. There we go. Ow. Uh, this is annoying. Uh, let me see. Oh, hang on. The springy guy can just be used as a platform, right? So I could just put him somewhere else and stand on him and not worry about... Like, if I put him here-ish, I can just jump on him. And go up there, maybe? Mm, not quite. Oh, but hang on, no, but I can do this, right? Yeah, okay. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Way to stick it to him by uh, doing some random platforming. <laughs> I'm not really following the narrative here, how this connects to the gameplay. <laughs> Ugh, my head. I may have the wrong suspect. I'm sorry for accusing you. This is a strange game. From now on, all Excito sticker purchases from my shop come with a 1.625% discount. Ah, uh, fine, you win. 2%. I wouldn't want to put you out of business. That's a pretty steep discount. Hmm. Well, just don't go buying too much from me. I'll see you around. What's an Excito sticker? Mike, it's getting late. Let's grab these groceries and head back home. Sure thing. Until next time, Danny. Welcome to Bellevue. Uh, again. Now it's night time again, and I'm... Uh, somewhere. I assume I'll get more stuff to go in my sticker book as I progress. Yeah, I did. I already found the dinosaur tail there. <laughs> Jetpack, whoosh! Cute. Oh, something sparkling. Is it money? It is money. Oh, I can see something over there too. It looks like those, uh... Bullet Bill launches. New toy. Mega Mini. You found a new toy. You can now show up for purchase in Imagination Battles? Interesting. <laughs> is 
So yeah, they've changed things up a lot in this game. I've only drawn one thing so far, like my hero. I haven't gotten to draw anything else. Um, in in the previous games, you would draw like a sword for your character to use, and you would draw um, like vehicles and stuff, and bridges as well. But none of that seems to be happening in this one, which is interesting. By the way, it's daytime. I think I want to go to the sparkle, but I'm not sure. Now it's night time again. Ah, it's you. Who's talking? I don't know what voice to use. Just the annoying creation I was looking for. Oh, these are the villains, right? I invested way too much time in this town. And my young friend Mike to have you show up and ruin it all. Oh, you're creepy. Your pathetic imagination game won't be as easy against my shadows. If you manage to survive, go tell Mari. I hope to see her soon. Time to fight? Out, all dark appears. All dark's minions have you in their sight. Watch out! Traverse the stage and reach the exit. Uh, still can't place anything. Oh, I see. We have Mega Man platforms. I forget which level these are from, but they're from Mega Man 2, I think. And they are very annoying. Okay, how do you jump on that? I wanna... Uh, I'll just keep going. Oh! Okay, so we've got some Mario Maker sort of physics-y stuff going on between the enemies. Interesting. that bird somehow. Uh, oh, I see. I see. That'll be easy. Yeah, that'll bounce up there, then we'll start shooting at the bird. See? Easy. Then we just gotta take out the turret ourselves, and we're good. I don't know what the point of having a time limit on every, every stage is. Like, they're not very long stages. Uh, we want a gun there. You want a springy, springy dingy down there. You want another gun over here, facing the other way. And you want a gun over here. There we go. Hello. <laughs> Let's try that again. Yeah, the controls are a little jank. Um, which is a bit of a shame. There we go, that's more like it. Things are looking grim. Better get out of here and regroup. Does that mean I defeated the shadows? Like, what exactly happened? Danny, come plays with us again. Mmm. I don't know if I want to. Hmm. We want to help you. Free you from your shackles.
Welcome to Raboville. The Raposa live here in Raboville. I'm just collecting stuff. Alright. Good for you, I guess? Should be some more stuff to find here in Rapo Hill, right? Hello. Danny, the creator designed such a beautiful night sky. I know. I played the first game. I remember. I'm so famous they named a Rapo cereal after me. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Hello. How are you feeling? Any stiff joints? I'll hold on to any treasure you find, okay? I'm talking to this guy, but alright. Let me know if you need a security escort. My name is Eel. <laughs> That's what Unagi means, it's Japanese. What's this? You found a new sticker. This stick can be equipped in your creation tool. Oh, cool. I don't know how I feel about this day-night mechanic. It seems a bit silly. Hello. Do you have any idea how hard it is to find clothes that fit shark legs? Uh... No, I, I thought sharks didn't really have legs. Looks like this guy's a bit glitched, it's still showing the prompt. There we go. Hello. It's impossible to find an appropriate shell on this beach. There's shells everywhere. And you're wearing like a bell or something. Hmm. Sparkles? No, oh, there's, there's just generic sparkles. Hello. Oh, you came back. Your name's Mildew? Mm. Condolences. Hmm. Uh, what have we got here? Cactus Barky. Biddle Dee. Alright. Barky. Brip Brip. Oh, the Barky are the regular enemies in this game. I forgot about that. They're like Goombas. Okay, I meant to be talking to Mari, but let's go talk to this guy instead. Hello! Check out my extensive collection of useful items. What have you got? You got stickers? You got new templates? Oh, we can unlock more as we play! Oh, that makes sense. Stamps. It's an I, kawaii? I think that's supposed to rhyme, but it's not It's not pronounced kawaii, it's kawaii. So, it doesn't quite rhyme. A monster horn. Toys? Spiky stand. Stand on top to trigger the toy to fall. Avoid spiky spikes on the bottom. Tiara? Bling bling. Wolf mask. Villainous intent. That's the bad guy from the first game. W Wolf Ray or Wilver or whatever. Sunglasses too? I heart these glasses. Top hat. G'day chap. Foxtail? What does a fox say? Does a, dog, does a dog wag the tail, or vice versa? Roller skate, hook, skeleton... Let's be a dragon, let's go. <laughs> Creation tool. Uh, why do I go for templates? Here we go. Uh, dragon time. See if we can get a jetpack. We have a couple of different tails. Nothing too exciting though. Mm. 
Uh, a couple of gloves. You don't start with very much of interest, which is a shame. Do I need separate of these stickers for each boot? Like, or is it like automatically going to work on both feet if I get it once? Looks like it works on both. Hmm, we'll see. There we go. Let's go! <laughs> oh, that looks really silly. Perfect. That's exactly what I had in mind. Oh, now it's daytime again. Yeah, this day-night system is very weird. I guess that's what money is for. You get to buy new costumes and stuff. I guess that makes sense. Hoping to find some more collectibles lying around in town. Seems like the day-night system is maybe a little too quick. It's like, what, 30 seconds for day? 30 seconds for night? Something like that? It's not long. <laughs> hmm. Hello, you look sneaky. I work with Cricket now. Times have changed. Can't remember who that is, but alright. Uh, this tree is sparkling. What's in here? Wristband. Can you equip a new creation tool. Nice. Mm. Give me that money. Give me that money. <laughs> I guess I should go look at the next quest, go talk to Mari. Now it's night time. Oh, hello. Crump, you look incapable of any great feats of chivalry, methinks. Oh, hang on, sparkling tree. Hello, sparkling tree. Do you have money? Yeah. Seems like they should have more than one dollar in them, just make them a bit more worthwhile. Hello. Danny, you're back! How can you tell it's still me? I'm a dragon now. I... I'm glad you're okay. But I really need you to bring Mike back. Maybe you can bring something from the creator? Something drawn that they'll remember? Aha! I knew you were plotting something secret. Mm, Mari. Why didn't you tell me the hero was back? Uh, well, I sorta... You promised me you'd tell me everything. I guess that promise didn't mean anything, huh? No, I was going to tell you. I just... Needed some more time. Sure, Mari. Danny, can you help me out? On guard, Danny. I've been training with Zasha. I can take on anyone. It's a uh, not that kind of battle. More of a battle of wits, which, well. Give it your best shot. Jowie just wants to be included. Show him a flipping good time. Alright. If you say so. <laughs> Keep an eye out for the special wall jump surface. You can jump off these surfaces to get even more height. That sounds good. I love wall jumping. <laughs> What is this? I mean, it's an enemy, but beyond that, I'm not really sure. Oh no, my little shoes! I lost my little shoes! <laughs> Stage one of three. 
I've got him back, thank god. <laughs> oh, springs. Springity ding. Let's go. Oh, that's fun. Hello. Oh, whoops. I was meant to bounce, but the enemy bounced all the way. Oh, dang it. <sighs> yeah, the platforming in this is a little frustrating. Okay, now we need to place some things. Uh, let's try putting you there. What else have we got to work with? Let's put you over here, I reckon. Mm, maybe not. Or maybe? Hmm. Yeah, but face that way. Uh, and then the little spring. Oh, you face sideways, that's right. Um, we're putting you up there would make sense. And then this guy can go over here somewhere. Let's give this a try. Okay, so that does work. It just kills you. So um, let's try that one more time. Right, I need to move things around first. <laughs> I forgot the moving things around step. Uh, I think I wanted to be on the other side, so it bounces you back instead, like this. Uh, let's see how we go. Then you can drop down here to get all that, and then you can't get through here because you're not allowed to crouch. Okay, um... Okay, you do lose the money when you die. I wasn't sure about that, but yeah, you do. That's a bit disappointing. What if I put you over here? Can I... Yeah, I thought so. I thought I could probably just reach that. Fire at me. Oops. Let's try that again. <laughs> Shoot at me. Okay. Cool beans. You hit it out of the park. I sure did. I'm pretty great at hitting things out of the park. I don't know what you just did, but I feel kind of different. I'm sorry for leaving you out, Joey. I wanted to bring Mike here quietly, but maybe that wasn't the best plan. That's okay, Mari. If I wasn't so hungry, maybe I wouldn't have gotten so upset. It's just that Chef Cookie stopped making his famous Banya scones. Banya? Banya? I think it's Banya. And I've been craving them like you wouldn't believe. Dan Danny, I bet you can convince him to make his Banya scones again. That's not how the Book of Imagination works. Danny can't just use it to force Raposa to do its bidding. It's... Okay, firstly, it shouldn't have an apostrophe, and also it should be their bidding, because it's Danny. Oh. Hmm. 
Or maybe something is up that you can help with? It wouldn't hurt to ask, right? I suppose not. Danny, can you check on Chef Cookie, please? I'm going to explain the current situation to Joey. Welcome to Rapoville. Okay, so we're at about an hour. Uh, probably a good time to start wrapping up. Um... I guess it's another Drawn to Life game. Um, they haven't super improved on much of it. Um, I think having these little bite-sized levels works better with the damage system in this game. Um, it's less infuriating when you take a bit of damage than it would be in some of the other, in some of the previous games. Um, I think that is an improvement. Um, I kind of surprised I'm not being asked to draw more stuff. Like, I've only really created my hero, and I'm already, like, several levels into the game at this point. Granted, they're short levels, but I would have expected to design at least something else. Um, I think the drawing controls themselves could be better. Uh, as I mentioned, you can't really uh, zoom in or out, and some of the buttons don't actually do anything, so it would be good to add zooming and maybe work it a bit... Like, the one that works in uh, New Horizons? And I'm crossing New Horizons, that's better. Uh, and that game isn't very good. <laughs> so, mimicking that would have made sense to just take some of the better parts of that game. Um, um, but yeah, uh, I'm glad there's another... <clears throat> Sorry, hang on, I've got to, got to clear my... My throat, down my throat. There we go. Okay, so yeah, I'm glad there's another Drawn to Life game. Um... Bassa Bass. Uh, the font, I think, is a little confusing, as I mentioned. Manic Barky. Whip! Alright. Um... I feel like, instead of giving you these super speed pickups, they could just make you walk faster. Or give you a run button. Neither of which they've done. Um, so that's just a bit of a weird design decision on their part. Um... It also, I don't know, it looks a little bit off in these sections. I don't know if it's like a frame rate thing or something else, but it looks a bit strange. Um, and I'm getting the impression there's like a level creator of sorts, and I think giving you a bit more access to it early on would make the game a bit more compelling. Uh, because right now, you know, all I've had is place these very small number of particular items in particular places in a level that we already designed for you, which is it's rather restrictive, you know? Um, which is just, it's a bit of a shame. Um, so yeah. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing more of this, but there's some issues, I think. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope this game looks like something you might enjoy, because it would be really cool for this series to survive. Um, as I mentioned, it's been a really long time since they put out Drawn to Life, the next chapter. Uh... So, you know, hopefully, like, they'll put out, like, a patch that polishes some of the more questionable aspects of this. Um, some of it seems to be, like, in the design, but other things I think they could probably tweak here and there. So, you know, hopefully they'll mess around a bit and maybe improve some stuff. It is a very recent game, so it's possible that they'll polish some stuff up after release. Um, but yeah. Um, also, I'm a dragon. Rawr. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye! Oh, it's night again. Yeah, the day-night cycle is just very weird in this game. I don't know quite what they had in mind with that. Um, maybe if they adjusted the speed a bit, or, you know, changed it so it doesn't interrupt what you're doing with a little cutscene every time it changes over. Or maybe both. I don't know. Uh, anyway. Bye!